my name is Filip. I am originally from Poland. I came to uh, London in 2003 um, and lived here ever since. So I never actually studied art in, in any way. I just sort of like doodling um, whenever I, had, I got a chance when I was younger. Um, quite late, well, I guess when I got to, to uh, when I got here to in UK, uh, I sort of started looking into digital art, uh, playing around with Photoshop and, and, and Wacom tablet and, and just kind of, you know, adding color and, and adding more action because uh, it's just easier, well, I guess, to, to... I think I'm, I'm mostly coming from the digital medium to, if, I, if, I'm, if I was to kind of describe myself. For a long time, I was just creating for myself, just sort of, you know, doodling away uh, happily. And then I got, I think it started from being introduced to I believe that was deviant art that I kind of started posting and, and you know the, the getting some reaction from from people to my art, which uh, so, so was kind of nice. Um, then uh, I think or maybe simultaneously though it was Flickr that was at the time quite a strong community. Uh, I, don't, I think um, it's pro probably quite dead right now, uh, unless I'm, I'm mistaken. But I've I've not looked into my account for a while. Um, it's I mean it, my relationship with art I would say it's kind of on and off because it was there were times in Poland when I was young I used to doodle then for a long t time I wasn't doodling at all I wasn't even drawing I went to Wrocław uh, which is the largest city in Poland to study and it was just too much fun to be had for me to, to focus on art and at the same time I never was in the circle of artists so like I never had any of my, of my friends who were interested in art in particular so that you know that didn't help probably so I guess for me that coming to London was a great time because I came by myself and I obviously had more time. It was before we had the internet. I mean, we had the internet then, but it was just less available. I didn't have a computer. I didn't have a smartphone. We saw in the evenings, I would just, I, come with, I almost rekindled my, my um, love for drawing uh, and, and draw, doodling and, and so on. So yeah i mean I'm, I'm actually well luckily i'm getting to the point now where i when i'm finding this balance a lot easier i uh for a long time i was both working at the company of, of well companies uh but also freelancing on the side so doing mostly web design and graphic design as, as a freelancer but also doing a bit of illustration and, and things like that uh so i didn't really have time to sort of for the craft, for you know, to 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 uh, carry on with my with what I'd love to do. Um, uh, but nowadays, the work I, I do right now it sort of allows me to find that time in the evening after after work, or, or as, as I was saying earlier, uh, on my train ride, I have a good hour to just sort of whip up the iPad and, and or, or a sketchbook and start doodling away. And, and uh, I feel I feel quite satisfied, and I'm hopefully I will be able to build even more time to to you know, pursue the craft and, 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 and art. Although I must say that uh, I get most energized when I'm, when I'm supposed to be doing something else. So if I, if I have work to be done, I tend to just, just do a little bit on the side. And, you know, from that, it just turns into moving off the computer and just getting the, out of the piece of paper or, or an iPad and, and doing, uh, doing, so drawing for, for a while. Sometimes drawing is like the itch you just need to scratch, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, I always kind of felt like this this, this way. I mean, this is, drawing or creating is uh, probably the only time when I can feel that sort of being in a state of flow, when in a way I, I completely forget. Like, there was, I remember there was times uh, where I would end up drawing for after like two, two hours, for example, and like, did I breathe? Well, obviously I did, but, you know, it's just like this feeling of nothing else was in my, in my, uh, well, nothing else mattered, in a way, in a way, so. Because time just passes, yeah. especially in that stage, you know, uh, and, and I guess also for you, it's like, uh, when you're, when you're creating these pieces, like, is there one particular one that, like, really sticks out for you? No, I was, I was trying to think that I actually, um, sort of went through my gallery and I, I don't think I have one in particular. I, as I said, I have a very specific kind of of, of art. Uh, well, not very specific, but the one that I, I enjoy is, is just like very. Uh, I like the dynamic poses. I like you know a lot of things happening. 
That's why I tend to use a lot of custom brushes to just, you know, suggest, I don't know, action, um, you know, debris or, 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 or something like that. So I can't think of one that I like the most. Um, I have times where I hate all of it, and then the, I have times when I'm, I don't know, sitting slightly tipsy on, on, a, on like on a Friday night, and I just sort of scroll through. Oh, this is this is really good. So yeah, I, I can't, I couldn't put a finger on on anyone in particular that I like. But does that also include like that time factor? You know, like the more you scroll down your feed and you rediscover. Oh, yeah, it's, it gets cringy. <laughs> Yeah, I only I only don't delete that stuff because I just assume nobody will scroll that uh, that far down. So. Yeah. And you also like, but I mean, that 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 uh, that emotion is kind of like a, a double thing in a way because part of you looks at it and you think like, Jesus, like <laughs> what the, what the hell was I thinking? But then the other side of you like can also think like. Wow, have I come this far, you know? Because um, I mean, of course, your your progression is is kind of natural, and mm. um, you will always get to a point where you're kind of like, it, it won't feel like you've progressed that much. It's only when you compare them, because just now that is kind of like the level of expectation you have. It just kind of adjusts. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. Uh, I mean, you can you can see a lot of uh, people on Instagram do that sort of. 2007 versus 2019 or, or, or whatever and yeah that's I, I don't believe there's that much difference because I, I think I'm not as I'm a bit too lazy in terms of like really putting in the work that's oh we'll, we'll cut it out <laughs> just thinking, but uh, yeah I mean but I there's definitely progress there's, I mean, there's no doubt that, that I, I get more comfortable uh, with my drawing I, I know uh, I can sort of you know see that in my head, what I'm gonna do, rather than just chaotically move the pen around the screen, although that does happen it's, as well. It's funny. I, I hear a lot of artists like they quite often, and I also say that myself. And I think Brian would probably be the same. Like, like, will always be so self-critical. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super lazy. And then like, you see the stuff that they make, and you're like, really? <laughs> is that actually so? Like, or is it just that the expectation you have of yourself is is unbelievably high. Um, do you think sometimes you sometimes feel guilty about not doing stuff when in reality you actually do a lot? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, there's definitely there's definitely a uh, way that I could do more, that I could put in more time. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, art is sort of always there, you know. Whenever I get a chance, I do the drawing. And I always think in terms of like what I could draw. So. Uh, yeah, I think I'd, I'd do a decent amount of of, of art related thinking and doing. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, this over the last, I would say, probably a year or so, the interactions definitely in, increased. The level of, of comments on my feed and everything like this. I'll, I'll try to always get back and reply to people, uh, but. Uh, as, as I said, that was I never expected. I kind of, I, I guess, I found myself on a sort of good end of the algorithm at some point because obviously I'm fully aware that there are artists who are way better than me, but you know they don't get that sort of exposure. So I was lucky enough to to get that. But nevertheless, it's an amazing feeling when when um, to know that somebody somebody uh, you know is is affected and and is telling me that I really you know, enjoy your art, it's super inspiring, so, so that I, I don't believe that, I just assume this is some bots doing this commenting, but nevertheless, it's, it's, it's quite amazing to, to hear. And also making a lot of good friends through uh, Instagram, I think that was, this is the sort of uh, art circles that I've never had when I was, you know, when I grew up, when I was growing up. Um, so, it, I, yeah, I've, I'm kind of making up for that time when I didn't, didn't see the we well, didn't deal or talk to, to people who are so interested in art as, as I used to be and I, I am. So. And are a lot of these friends like ones that you mainly interact digitally with or are sometimes these people you actually end up like meeting? And that hasn't happened that often. I think it's happened once so far that I met the artists that I always admired uh, on one of the comic cons. But I do have a group of people that we always, we're always sitting on the chat and kind of talking stuff. Uh, that I really 
it's my it's my goal to maybe this year or maybe next year to sort of meet do a meetup. The the thing is that we're all from different countries, so I mean it's not a difficult, but it's just you know getting finding the time to do it. Uh, but yeah, it'll be, yeah, it'll be amazing. I mean, just you know maybe meeting at one of the comic cons or so on. So that should be good. And is there any one specific interaction with like one of your fans or one of your followers that you kind of just you remember more than the others? Oh. Uh, I don't think there is one. I, I, as I said, whenever somebody leaves more than just like, you know, this is great or something, a comment that actually, that, to tell me that they, they got really inspired or like they, it got them to look into digital art, for example, then that's really, that's really means something. Yes, I, uh, I've been saying that for the last over a year and, and a half, I guess, that I, I, I really want to start making tutorials. And just to sort of, well, I guess just to show my process, since there is some interest in that. So I thought, you know, why not just um, show how my approach to creating a piece uh, looks like. Uh, but again, I mean, I, this is something I definitely need to find time for. I, I just don't want to kind of, maybe I probably should just go in and do it and see if it works. Just, you know, uh, but I straight away start thinking of lights and just to make it, make sure that this is of, of good quality, uh, because of, as you said earlier, so sort of the self-deprecation. I don't want to. I'm being too, too self-critical of, of what I can produce. Uh, I guess sometimes you, you don't want to be too self-critical that you never actually produce a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but you also want to be self-critical in the sense that you don't produce something that you're not proud of, and it's yeah. finding the balance between the two. Yeah, hundred percent. But uh, I was going to ask you a bit more about your characters. That you, Create. Are, okay. these, are these fictional characters that you create yourself? Or yes. Uh, well, I mean, uh, there's, there's a good amount of Batmans and, and uh, what else do I tend to draw? Uh, Wolverines uh, and, th and kind of like well-known characters. But I tend to, I tend to just draw from. I tend to use shapes and different textures to get a, to get a like overall silhouette if you like or shape or uh, I don't know a, a gesture uh, and then you know just the usual add horns at the uh, samurai sword uh, so they mostly are kind of yeah products of, of not reference if, if that's if that makes sense yeah well, I tend to do uh, a lot of random marks you know I, my process is kind of a uh, Building just a big mess of, of lines, uh, then then using eraser to to cut things out and see what it what it's like. I, I don't I don't mind just going in and just scraping everything if I don't like it. Sometimes I would, I would use layer. I would draw something on the layer and then add another layer and see like by transform transforming what, how this how this would would work. Uh, sometimes it helps to actually if you don't feel that inspiration flowing, just close it and come back to it after 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 a while after you know an hour or so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, from then, I, once I start getting something that looks better, I, then I'm kind of getting into, into that state of flow when I just go in and, and clean it up or even make it more dirty by just using custom brushes. I mean, that's, I love using custom brushes. I love, I love like having, having the, adding these effects that suggest detail, but not really, it's not really there. Uh, you know, then if I get too, if I if I realize that I have too many layers going, I just flatten this whole thing and then start dropping in colors and then see what, what what happens. That often gets me to a point where I need to cut things out, which is not ideal, but uh, it's fine. I mean, yeah, that's it, it's a bit of a messy process actually. That's probably just one of the things that is holding me back from actually creating tutorial because I don't know how to explain. Like, I don't want to just say to people just start dropping shapes on on your canvas and, and see what happens. I guess you could just be proud of it and just be yeah, like, yeah. I mean, people when they see your style, they, they obviously like it for whatever reason. So like, whether they are not as interested, or not as interested, but whether they work in a different way, maybe it forces some of them to actually like experiment, you know? Yeah, that's, that's definitely the, uh, the, the, the good, uh, good way to look at it, yeah. Experimentation is, is the key, I guess. I guess yeah, experiment. Try try different mediums. Try to see you know whether you you're more uh, comfortable with digital art. In fact, try both. Uh, but um, 
I guess also I would say volume is the key, to, you know, sort of quantity over quality. At this initial stage, just do as many things as, as you can do. Uh, try, uh, try to, uh, yeah, just create a bulk of work, even, though, even if you're gonna, if you're gonna throw it away. Anatomy is, is, the, is, is super important, uh, color theory, all that, like, whatever artist would tell you. On, I guess, the um, career side of things, even though seven, well, yeah, uh, I would say network, don't be afraid to show your stuff uh, to people. Don't only show it to artists, also show it to sort of, sort of random you know, people that, uh, that might end up being interested in, in, in whatever services you could provide in the future, whatever you can do for them. Um, what else? Yeah, just, uh, just sort of get doing, like, you know, produce, produce stuff, you know, take chances. Yeah, that sounds a bit cliche, but... Just, just, yeah, do the work. Yeah, I, um, I would really love to start drawing on a, or painting on a, on a larger canvas. I would, I would like to be able to create art standing up, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm quite shy in terms of uh, um, traditional media. You know, uh, my favorite traditional tool would be markers, pencils and, and pens, but uh, yeah, I would just love to create something that's not just within the const constraints of, of the digital screen, but having a big canvas to splash about. And is this sort of like murals or...? Murals will be, yeah, I think murals will be, will be the, uh, the thing too that I would like to tackle. But anything, anything of large, <laughs> of large area that I could make a mess on. So. And to get my prints, uh, I've barely ever done, well, I've never done really any prints, so... That's not, uh, one more goal for me is to uh, get a table at one of the comic cons that's coming on maybe end of this year or maybe next year. Just, just yeah, I'll be quite interested to see how my art comes up on in print. And really, just to get it out there, get yeah. exposed more. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me.